So how do we use that line chart for swing trading? The idea of using the line chart is to quickly visually see those areas of the structure in the market. Let me just go through what I'm talking about when I talk about the swing structure. So a swing structure is going to look something like this. Okay, this is our swings in the market. Now within those swings, we're also going to find our internal structure where we're going to see the market. Okay, shift from bullish to bearish here, back to bullish and then back to bearish. And within here, we're going to see all this internal structure. Now, if you're not sure about the idea of using swing and internal structure, there is a full playlist within the channel which is through market structure. It's going to teach you all about the concepts of using the structure of the market, how we read the swings and internal structure. Go away after this video, watch that full playlist, come back, let me know that you've watched it after watching this video and it's helped you to understand what I'm talking about within this video. So we just remove this off. That is the swing structure. Now that's the swing in the market we're going to look to trade by using a line chart. So that's all good that we can see this here in the market, but how do we then apply that to a line chart? How do we use that information with a line chart? Well, let's have a look at the line chart. If you zoom out of the line chart, it's going to give you the bigger picture. So if we see here, we can see the market push down, breaks this swing low, we pull back, we push lower, we break this low. So we can see here, we can see to be bearish. We pull back. Now I'm expecting here a potential sweep perhaps on the wicks. We do make a lower high here with the closed prices. Now the market's now within this trading range. And what we expect is the market want to continue to run this week low. And at the moment price sits here. So we've gone sideways for quite some time. So what do you expect to see within this move? There's going to be smaller swings, of course. We're going to see swings within this area. We can see here all these little smaller swings where the market breaks structure, breaks back up, pulls back, sweeps this high, continues down. Okay, you can see how the market continues to move. So we can still trade these modes within just as long as you understand that you're trading the swing structure here and you're going with the larger moves in the market. So what we can do, we can go down to lower time frame here and we can find those entries. So how do we use the line chart now with these swings? So let's just take this area. What can we see from this move? Well, to first we can mark off this level and we're going to see most probably here a four hour sweep. So I'm going to mark off at the moment a daily sweep. We're also going to have over here somewhere an area of potential supply. Perhaps the market's coming into that supply. This market that offers a daily zone. This supply I'm expecting to be removed. Then we can also see this move here to downside, which I would class as an area here of potential. Okay, let's mark this off as an area of potential imbalance. So if you're not sure about what imbalances are, how we use them in our trading, there is a full playlist again on this channel, which goes through about how we use imbalances, how you can trade with them. And there's a full strategy at the end as well for you. So go and watch that as well as the market structure playlist. Okay, then come back and tell me you've watched both of those playlists. That's awesome if you do. So you can see that this is where we class our break of structure. Okay, so this is our swings in the market. It's our swing Okay, structure. And that's where we're looking to trade a swing trading strategy as such when we're using line chart. So this is our swings with the line chart. This is our internal structure. But if we was now to mark off this area, and we'll go down to four hour and we'll zoom out on a four hour and zoom in. We can now start to see on the four hour, we zoom in a bit more. Let's take this area. We can start to identify and make it my drawing tool these swings okay on the four hour market breaks pulls back we'll move down break this structure which is going to be here pull back break the structure again i just broken it there then we push back and we can see we shift back to the upside so you can see how we can read that internal structure it's going to show us when the market gets to this low make a reversal make the pullback and that information is really handy when you're looking for those reversals up here out of an area of supply or an area of imbalance. Look, we're even looking at price using the line chart, I can identify there's an area of imbalance there. Let me just mark all these markings off. 
So there's going to be an area of imbalance here. How do I know this? Because look at the move down the line chart. It's quite a strong bearish drop. Let's go back to price. And we zoom in. We should see a red candle. And then we have a series of red candles there. So that is showing me the imbalance within those candles. And this is how you can start to understand where the market's making that momentum drop out. Okay. And it's saying this is where the market's going to want to come back to. Okay. This area of imbalance here to fill and to sweep this swing high. Hey, traders, we'll get back to the video in just a moment. But I wanted to give you a gift for hanging out with me today. I want to give you access to my Telegram community. This trading community will share my chart markups and give you access to my trading strategy. But it's more than just a community. You're going to have some actionable steps to accelerate your growth. We're hanging out with other like-minded traders, all looking to improve their trading. And it's free as my gift to you. So just hit the link above now to join the Telegram community. Now back to the video. At the end of the day, this high here is going to be where we have liquidity. Now, there's going to be a full place within the channel as well on liquidity. So now we just go across to this area. We'll mark this across. Remember, there was one on the daily we saw as well. And again, if we go across, we can see where it comes back higher. So the market here just tags it. And when we pull back up here, again, we go back to the line chart. We can read the line chart. We have the market breaking up. We then obviously have this sweep here in the market on a four hour time frame. And then we have another break here, probably to the downside or even this low here. That's going to create areas, okay, of supply and areas of imbalance again. So go back to price. You can see we have an area of supply here that I can draw my last buy to sell move. And on the way down, we have all this imbalance here. We have imbalances here left over. Now, we're not always going to pull back to these areas. You can see this occasion we didn't. But we start to look at the structure, which is the swings. Remember, we're trading swings here with this type of method. We can look at the market. Let's say this is a push up. We broke here, pull back. Okay, let's say we're just looking at this as a full pullback. This is more of our internal swings here. Okay, we pull back, we break above here. Break back down, we pull back to new area supply, we break down, and you see the market continues to move. So that's one way of looking at it. And we can also zoom out and look at the bigger picture. So, what's the bigger picture here? The bigger picture, we start to look at these bigger swings. So, we can see from here, I suppose probably a full swing down, swing down, perhaps a swing down. We break out mostly here, pull back, continuation. Broke out here, pull back. Um, and look at that as a swing as well. This is too small, tight together. This is more of a swing. Okay, again here, that there's our swing. So hopefully you can start to see that we have those larger swings within this swing. All that smaller st structure is then going to be your 15 minute time frame swings. So look at that. Okay, understand your swings in the markets. How we look at swing trading with a line chart. We can identify those swings quickly by looking at this line chart. We don't need to look at the price to find those swings. And then that's how we just start to look at the imbalances, the supply and demand. Again, supply and demand. If you need to learn more on supply and demand, there is a full playlist okay, within the channel as well. You'll find a full playlist going through the steps of how to draw supply and demand, how to find them, to trade them, and everything else you need to know. So we go back now to daily. Let's look at that area where we're looking at price. When we do come back up, we price back on here. Let's look at price and see if we were correct. Do we have a sweep? Yes, we swept above this high here. Okay, we also pull back into this area of, let's mark this off, this area of imbalance, and into this daily area here of supply. So the market sweeps above this high. That would be here. We also sweep here within we also go into the imbalance here on the daily and we had an imbalance here on the four hour as well we fill that imbalance on the four hour and we go into here supply and we create a reversal out now what we do we go down to four hour here and we look for a reversal out to, to sell the market but we also have here on the way down we break this structure low but we create we create a new area of imbalance now we go back to line chart you can see that shift where we break structure we drop down we pull back 
and we break structure again, we pull back and we continue down. So what do you expect to find within here? Potentially a small imbalance or an area of supply. So we just go back to price. There's no imbalance in this occasion. So we have a break of structure using, okay, the line chart. This was my break of structure to downside. Okay, and that's what we're looking at. But before that, okay, we have this sweep here in the market. Now, this is something if you are still watching right now, okay, or you put down in the comment, you understand how to trade the sweep using the line chart. But this is a sweep on okay, price. So if we now go down to a four hour time frame where we see this sweep, let's go down to where we see this sweep. And was it on this first bit or this bit? Let me just double check because it's not showing up. Okay, so it's right here. So let's mark that off as a four hour sweep and then we can find that when we go down i'm going to teach you a concept which is understanding the sweep with a line chart it's something i may do a more in-depth video on but if you are watching to this point then you are perhaps one of those one percent people still watching and going to understand this sweep then put in the comments one percent just so I know that you are someone who's watching these videos all the way through. Now, nobody's going to know what the 1% means. So just put that in the comments. So you see this sweep here in the market. What is it sweeping into? Into this era of imbalance. Now, if we go back to a line chart, we can identify our structure. Okay. We had our structure shift. The market is pushed up, pulled back. Our swing structure has shifted. We make a pullback. We create a sweep. And we break out and we continue to go lower. Now, at this sweep, I want you to understand that the actual line chart is showing you a lower high, right? But the market is making a higher high. That's what we class as divergence from the line chart. Okay, when we see the sweep, we see a lower high formation. Back to price, we see a higher high formation. Okay, so that is where we see that divergence. And when we see a sweep like this inside an area of imbalance, and I'll just mark out this swing, and we're also coming back above the 50% into premium area for a sell, we know we've got a good chance to sell here. Now we go down to lower time frame, we find an entry, and we're looking to target the swing lows here. That is a daily mark low, but we're marking out here on the four hour, we were looking to mark targeting the swing low and then beyond. Okay, and we do the same thing again and again. Now we can look at this next move down from this high to low. Using the line chart, we come back to the 50% within that premium area once again. Now, this occasion, what is it coming back into? This area of supply that sits here. Okay, it's a four hour supply, it's break structure. That's the breakout point. Okay, we also have an area of supply up here, which is also going to be our supply zone, which is our origin zone. There are two different types of zones and there's two different ways we can trade it. So at this point here, we do have a area of imbalance, okay, which has already been filled on this push up. So it's not a valid imbalance anymore, but what we do have, we have a run of this high. It's a liquidity, we run through, we close back down. We also reverse this area of imbalance. Now, once we reverse that imbalance right here, let me just mark it off. Once we reverse that area of imbalance here, okay, we wick back up. That is a perfect area where you can understand the lower time frame, another sweep for entry to short for the lows. If you want to just learn about how you can use supply and demand to help you to identify trades, okay, as well with my support, okay, you can check out the profit per trade workshop. Okay, you can find the link below in the description of this video, or there'll be a link popping up now if you want to go and learn more on the Profit Per Trade Workshop. It's a great starting point. So that is when we're starting looking at those swings. And just so you understand, this is really great information to understand the divergence between price and the line chart when we're seeing these sweeps, especially inside areas of supply and demand and imbalances. So remember, if you're not sure about market structure, you're not sure about breaker structure, you're not sure about the use of imbalances, there or even supply and demand there are full playlists within the channel so i do suggest if you have enjoyed watching this video so far today and it's something you want to learn more on those other concepts go away and watch the rest of those playlists after you've been through this video come back and let me know you've watched those playlists it's great to know that you're enjoying this content and don't forget to put one percent if you got to that point and understood this sweep 
So that is where we understand the swing K okay, in the market using line chart. You can just quickly look at the line chart. You can identify these swings and you start to look for the pullbacks. Okay. Looking for those entries. Now, if we zoom out, we can also identify down here using the four hour. Okay. Looking at the swing structure. If we go from this push up, we have a small kind of like push here and a break to downside. So you have that internal structure here. You can see on the four hour. That's going to be your 15 minutes swings. And now we can also look at the larger swings that we can see here again on the four hour time frame. It's going to be a push down here. Made a had a push up reversal, reversal again here. Um, a very small, I'd say this is a, margin, a full pullback. That's your major swings that we can see here okay, on the four hour time frame. So that's how you look at the larger swings using that line chart. But if you want to join up to that free community, the Telegram community, there will be a link popping up right now. And also don't forget to watch the next video, which is through to more about the use of line charts in trading.